I've been in places and times in my life where my heart was broken, where I felt like I couldn't go on, where I felt like my life was over. There was a storm flood in my life. Maybe somebody did me wrong. Maybe a relationship ended. Maybe I gave my loyalty. It wasn't appreciated, right? And then you start to get this feeling like, dang, like life will never be the same. You sometimes wish things could go back to how they used to be. Maybe you're on here right now and you're feeling sick. You're feeling depressed. You're feeling like your life is over. I want to tell you something, man. You are unbreakable. Like realize this truth. You are unbreakable. Broken is a mind state. It's a mindset. It is not your identity. It is not who you are. I don't care what people try to tell you. I don't care what people try to give you. I don't care how people treated you in the past before. Realize that you're a warrior. You're unstoppable. You're unbreakable. You can't break what can't be broken. So stop thinking you're a broken person just because somebody told you that. Stop thinking you're worth nothing just because somebody treated you a certain type of way. Stop thinking that you don't have just because things aren't going right in your life. I'm going to tell you something. The reason why you're heartbroken, oftentimes it's because of one thing. It's because of your perspective. You're seeing something as a loss instead of seeing something as a blessing. You might say, Trent, how do I view life like that? Because to me, why view it any way else? Like think about this with perspective. Perspective is the window of how you see the world, right? Of how you see the world. So there's a proverb that I want to share with you. Instead of seeing that the rose bush has thorns. How about you change your perspective and see that the thorn bush has roses? And that little thing is just a brief shift in your mindset. Your, your perspective can either be your power or your prison. Your power or your prison. But a lot of us, we're living an unfulfilled life. It's because we're doing something that we don't care about or we're staying in a situation that's bad for our life and we know what we need. We know what we want. We know what we must have. But we steadily allow whatever it is, whatever prison that's in our life to keep us from living our best life. So many of us in here are heartbroken because we're choosing to settle. And I've told you this before, settling leads to suffering. Some of us are unhappy and we're expecting happiness by staying in situations that are keeping us unhappy. Whether that's a relationship, whether that's a friendship, whether that's a habit, whether that's a job. How can you expect your life to change without making these changes? And you might say, Trent, why do I feel unfulfilled? I'll share this with you. It's pretty simple. A lot of us, we live our whole entire life ignoring the one thing or the few things in our life that are meant for us to do. Some of you on here have turned your back on your creativity. Some of you on here have turned your back on your passion. Some of you on here have turned your back on your dreams. Some of you on here have turned your back on your talents and your gifts and you stopped doing the thing that you know you wanted to do. And I'm going to tell you, any time in life, when you spend on something that doesn't bring you joy, that doesn't bring you fulfillment, my friend, you will always feel unfulfilled. The art of fulfillment is easy. It's understanding what you prioritize in life and spending most of your time doing it. Some of us, we're not feeling fulfilled because we have a family, right? And, we're, and we say that's our top priority. Our family means so much to us, but yet we spend minimal time with our family. And I know some people work jobs and it's hard to do that, but sometimes we prioritize other things and we wonder why our life is out of balance. Some of us, we spend all day on our phone. We spend all day on social media. There's times where I thought about retiring, and it's funny to say that word, from this. My most happiest times is when I'm not logged on or either when I'm going live with you guys. Social media is probably ruining your life. I want to say that. It's making you compare yourself. It's making you think your relationship sucks because somebody's showing a fake perfection relationship. It's making you think, oh, you don't have enough revenue in your life. Or you're not doing nothing major because you're looking at someone highlight reel. Like my last podcast was that social media ruined my life. And it did. Social media helped my life. Social media is a great tool. I wouldn't be who I am because of if it wasn't for social media. But at the same time, a lot of us, we're using this as a gauge to, to dream further. And, but at the same time, it's making us feel like we don't have anything in our life. Oftentimes, we're not fulfilled because we're so programmed on focus on what we don't have in our life that we become blind to what we do have in our life. Some of you are waiting for your blessings and it's right in front of your face. Some of you are waiting for your happiness Forget happiness, your fulfillment, and it's in front of your face. And I know it's not easy. I know it's easier said than done. But when your life isn't congruent on what you really want to do, how many of you on here are really doing what you want to do? Doing with that passion that's inside of your heart. Someone, someone, and I'm not, when I talk about never settle, I'm not just talking about relationships. I'm talking about in life. I think one of the greatest deaths to experience while you're still alive is to turn your back on the things that you truly want to do with your life. 
How many of us are working a job that doesn't appreciate us? How many of us are doing things every single day that doesn't bring us fulfillment, doesn't bring us joy? How many of us in here are doing that? It's time for you to stop selling for less, man. And I'm talking about holistic. I know a lot of y'all think I'd be just talking about relationships. That'd be almost the furthest thing what I'm talking about. I'm talking about holistically in your life. Like live by those words, never settle, go for it. People are gonna judge you regardless. People are gonna have something to say about you regardless. And so many of us, we're so afraid to fail. We're so afraid to be judged. We're so afraid to ridic be ridiculed. And we live our whole entire life for trying to please people who can care less about us. This world ain't gonna give a damn about you when you die. Do you realize that? All the people on social media you're living for, that you're trying to get likes that don't even love you, that you're trying to impress that don't even care, you're gonna die. And guess what? They're gonna give you about 15 minutes of fame. I mean, 15 minutes of celebration. They're gonna give you about 15 minutes of dedication and the world's gonna move on. I refuse to live my life for that. I refuse to live my life in a situation that I know is tearing my life apart. I refuse to, to die unhappy. I refuse to die miserable. I refuse not to meet the greatest version of myself and my friends. You gotta refuse it too. Because some of us watching this right now, we are living a settled life. We just accept whatever life gives us and we wonder why we're so depressed. We spend hours and hours on social media that's literally programmed to make us feel like we're not enough. To make us feel like we're missing something. I might be missing my friend's appreciation, but Trent, you don't understand my situation. Trent, I wish you can go back to how it used to be. Forget going back to how it used to be and create. I'm being loud. I know my neighbor's going to be tripping. And forget, forget, they're probably listening right now. Forget how it used to be and create how it needs to be. Create your new normal. Be better. Be better. And I'm not telling you to quit your job or anything like that. I'm just telling you, it's your freaking life. I almost said something else. It's your life. It's your life. At the end of the day, nobody's responsible for you. So if you're living heartbroken and you're choosing to stay there, I know this might seem insensitive, but that is on you. That is on you because broken is a mind state. You are not broken. You're beautiful. God didn't create you to live broken. It's the things that we're choosing to keep ourselves in. It's the things that we're tolerating in our life. It's the things that we're allowing in our life. Whether that's people or whether that's our own mindset, whether that's our perspective. Some of our perspective sucks. It sucks. And when you change your perspective, you'll change your life. Hope that inspires somebody. But uh, yeah, man, I want to just come here and check in with you guys because I've been disconnected from social media. Um, I refuse to let social media control my life. I refuse to allow, and, and it's, not a, it's not a thing on social media, guys. Just to think, I refuse to be controlled by it. Every times we're all consistent on purpose. There'll be times where I pull back on purpose because the happiest life is not online. It's offline. And if we're spending all our time online doing the things that doesn't lead to our happiest life, we're always going to be unfulfilled, guys. And please understand, like, I'm not coming to you guys as an expert. Like, I got all the answers, man. I don't. You know, I battle. I battle so much. You know, I, I battle with the same things I tell you guys about a lot of times, man. And um, I want to be a real model, not a role model. You know, my... Tupac said it best. You know, I don't, I don't want to play a role. I, I don't want to play a role of perfection. I don't want to play a role of, you know, me acting like I'm perfect and all of that stuff. Like, that's whack to me. I don't want to play a role of, like I'm the expert. It's whack to me. I want to be a real model. Somebody look at their life and see somebody that showed you the good and the bad, the ups and downs, that showed you everything. And just truly care, man. You know, I might make my mistakes here and there. Um, but one thing about me is I truly care about this. And I think you guys can feel it. Like, Everything else that comes with it, I don't even need it. I care to help you guys, man, with my story, with my life. Like, it gives me goosebumps just even talking about it. Just even talking about it. So that's enough about it, man. We're all about to shed some tears. I'll try to check in with you guys more. But again, you know, I'm really focusing on just my offline life. Like, I'm still going to create. You know, there's times where I might go super hard. But I'm not going to be controlled by, by anything. You know, I'm, I refuse to, to wake up in the morning and start you know, comparing my life before I actually start creating. So many of us, we wake up and we start consuming. We start consuming content. We start consuming people's opinions before we ever try to even create something. That's just my thoughts, though. I appreciate it. Let's